What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back again with another video. So, the reports have been coming in today that William Regal has officially left AEW. Uh, I've been seeing uh, people talk about it all over social media. So, we're going to check out an article on ringsidenews.com. We're going to see exactly what's going on here. And I'm going to give my thoughts and opinions on the whole situation. Uh, uh, I did see the segment with MJF and uh and william regal and how that played out it may be kind of an indication on why he potentially left or that that was his exit from the company but we're going to discuss all of that after the article william regal has officially left aew william regal shocked everyone when he showed up at aew revolution pay-per-view soon after he formed the blackpool combat club with brian danielson and John Moxley. However, that storyline was short-lived as he turned on Moxley at AEW Full Gear, helping MJF win the AEW World Championship in the process. Just when it looks like fans would get to see both men pair up on AEW programming, MJF turned on William Regal by attacking him from behind with Regal's brass knuckles. This resulted in Regal being stretched out of the arena. After this segment, many fans started speculating that Regal was perhaps leaving AEW for WWE. Dave Meltzer has confirmed on Wrestling Observer Radio that William Regal's last day with the company was this past Wednesday on AEW Dynamite. In quotes, Regal's gone. It's not like maybe he's gone. I believe that's his farewell. In quotes. Dave Meltzer also continued rumors that William Regal is headed back to WWE. Meltzer also stated that while Regal signed a short term deal with the company, Tony Khan must have given him an out. I believe there's going to be something on Wednesday's show where there will be some uh where there'll be something addressing certain things that story is supposed to keep going in some way but he's going back to uh back to wwe that's just the deal i've had i've had so many different people tell me so many different stories the primary source story was that his contract was short term the wwe side says that he had an out the closest thing to what I would say is official would be he signed a short-term deal. Others say he had an out or Tony gave him an out. Whatever it was, I certainly know that that I certainly know that when he was signed, it was a three-year deal supposedly, and nine months now it's over. Sound is, sounds weird, Dave Meltzer stated. While AEW fans may be disappointed that they are going to see William Regal in AEW. WWE fans must be excited that Regal will be back. Uh, will be uh, will soon be back with the company. We'll uh, we will have to see, wait and see if Regal returns to NXT to resume his previous role, or will Triple H make use of him on the main roster? Stay tuned to Ringside News as we keep you updated on this story. But yeah, this is a this is a crazy one considering how things happened. Uh, on Dynamite, I did watch that clip. I didn't stream it, but I did watch that whole MJF segment. And as soon as he brought off the brass ducks, MJF, oh, I was like, oh yeah, he's about to attack him. He clocked him, clocked him right back of his dome piece. Dude didn't move a muscle, and that was pretty much, I guess you could say, a way of writing him off the show. He clocked him into oblivion, and now you know he'll wake up in a whole nother company, in a company I think he wants to be in as well. So. It's, it's very crazy how that how that happened because to be honest with you from a story standpoint he turned on the uh on the blackpool combat club he turned on john moxley to help jim mjf to only maybe two weeks later get turned on by the person he just helped to win the title and then that's it that's 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 a, I, I don't know that's it, it's I don't know. That's very interesting. And I'm pretty sure he's definitely had some conversations with Triple H as Triple H taking over things. I'm pretty sure he definitely wanted him to come back. And I don't know what they do. Do they have him run, be on that in screen, on screen presence in NXT? I'm, I'm sure they're going to have him help with the up and coming talent like he was before. Or will he be an on screen presence on the main roster? Who knows? I'm not sure. We will see. But, uh,. Yeah, man, it's, it's just really crazy to see 
that uh, he 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 literally started up a faction, the Blackpool Combat Club, on, <laughs> for a couple months, and now he's gone, or potentially going back to WWE. That's wild. He literally helped the champion get the championship in one company, and now he's out. I don't know, man. And what role will he be in when he comes back to WWE? I, that's that's going to be another interesting question, in my personal opinion. I don't have a problem with him going back to NXT and being more of that general manager uh, general manager role. I think he he is what a general manager should be in wrestling. He doesn't he doesn't insert himself in storylines. He just makes the matches. And I'm pretty sure once again he was doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes uh, with the talent. So honestly. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of indifferent. If he stayed in AEW, didn't really make a difference. If he went to WWE, didn't really make much of a difference. But it does make sense on why he ended up getting carted off the way he did by MJF. It's probably their way to write him off television. That's literally what it was. And maybe Tony Khan just decided to throw him an alley hoop. He's like, all right, cool, you can leave. You know what I'm saying? Because William Regal is not moving the needle in a sense. But I know he does help when it comes to the background side of things and i know he is an important person in wrestling when it comes to maybe giving his opinions on what should be done and how it should be done so i know he's a valuable asset but as an on-screen presence he's not the needle mover granted the stuff he's had done with mjf as of recently has been fucking great i, I loved it i was hoping maybe he's gonna be that kind of guy to mentor mjf you know at some point you know what i'm saying and have him they have this like manager or not a manager but more of a mentor uh apprentice type situation just him trying to provide them with the tools and skills to maintain his championship i thought that was gonna maybe do that but nope my boy mjf clocked them good sent them to the gulags and uh yeah he's gonna wake up in wwe <laughs> so comment down below let me know are you guys surprised by this move are you guys shocked that william regal has just decided to leave potentially um or was this something that you saw a mile away and does this affect how you feel about uh this whole situation are you okay with him going back to wwe or do you prefer him in aew let me know down below man i wanted to get this news out to you guys because i know some of you guys were hitting me up about it so i wanted to talk about it but i appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel road to 150k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all on the next one peace